What we're looking at here is the Speed I.O. Uh, internet speed test, uh, the DSL speed test or the, the, the broadband speed test. Uh, you can see I have over 1330 roughly kilobits per second uh, on my download speeds and my upload speeds are uh, about 324 or something like that. Uh, that's a whole lot faster than I had before. Uh, I used to have uh, somewhere about 650 kilobits per second and I was not satisfied with that. Uh, the telephone company told me that uh, I should be happy with that and just live with it uh, but I decided to do some experiments and see if I could improve it and I was able to do that by putting a DSL splitter over at my phone box and it really improved things quite a lot for me. I'm really pleased with having done that so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do it and uh, hopefully this will help you out. What we're looking at here is homephonewiring.com this is where I went to get the information that I needed in order to set up my DSL splitter I'm not in any way connected with these people, but there is a lot of good information on this website, not only about DSL splitters, but also about how to set up a phone line. And uh, I recommend this website. Once again, I'm not in any way uh, connected to them. Now, they also sell DSL splitters. Uh, in fact, they sell the exact same kind that I have, although I didn't buy mine from them. I bought mine locally because uh, I wanted to get it right away and uh, it wasn't that tough. Now, this is the kind I have right here. This is the kind of, um, of splitter that I have. And they even uh, show the, uh, you can link to the, <clears throat> to the installation uh, the installation documentation that comes with it. Now, I didn't find it that easy to set it up uh, using this information, but I was able to uh, set it up using the information on the actual website, uh, particularly, uh, particularly this diagram right here is what I used to set mine up. Uh, you show the, the phone lines and the data lines as well as how to set it up from the NID to the DSL splitter. Now an NID is a network interface device and that's basically just the phone box that's outside usually uh, of your house or in some cases it might be inside and um, the NID I just connected up these two wires and I'm going to show you how I did that in a few minutes but um, or in just a bit but I just wanted to show you this here uh, this is where I got my information on how to set mine up and I do recommend this website okay what we're looking at here is the, uh, the telephone box which they have marked here as a telephone network interface uh, most of the places are going to call this a network interface uh, device, NID. If you look inside here, uh, these, this is where your phone lines connect up. Now, uh, in this particular case, I had some old phone wire, which I used to connect up my DSL. Uh, I probably would have been better off if I had to use a different kind of wire, but it's just a real short connection so I don't see, I don't think it's a big deal uh, now one thing important is um, if you go to work on your phone lines you should disconnect uh, your phones which uh, you can see I've just disconnected it and then uh, when you're done you can just uh, plug it in again and everything will work if you've hooked it up right now uh, what I should tell you here is that um, this old-fashioned phone wire here isn't really very good for connecting up DSL. 
DSL is a whole lot better if you use Category 5 wire, or they call it Cat 5. Uh, now it's it's a little bit different uh, than this old this new this old-fashioned kind of wire. Uh, it's better. Uh, they use what they call twisted pairs. Now, uh, if you're hooking up a phone, all all the phone line comes over just these two wires. My phone and my DSL all comes over just these two wires. Nothing else. That's all there is. Uh, and if I had two different telephone numbers, uh, this is this would be the second number, and this is the first number. And all you're dealing with here is this upper and this lower uh, connector in this particular case. Your, your, your phone box might be different, so you've got to pay attention to that. But uh, I think this is a fairly common kind of uh, phone box. So the part you want to be concerned with is these connections here uh, and these connections here, plus the... Uh, the phone line going in from from the street to your box, uh, you definitely want to disconnect that when you go to work on these. Uh, when you go to work on your phone line, but but that's all there is to it. Is that right there? Uh, it's very simple. Just two connections. Uh, here, what we're looking at is the DSL splitter itself. And I'll show you how I have it connected up here. Now, <clears throat> this is just temporarily uh, mounted on here just for this video. Now, uh, these wires here uh, all go to telephone jacks. These are the wires that came, uh, they installed, when they installed the house, these are the wires that they used. Uh, now, if you look here, I don't know if you can see this, but tip and ring. Uh, now that that seems more confusing than it, it needs to be. Um, tip is positive and ring is negative, is what it amounts to. Um, but uh, the and also it says network, voice, and data. So uh, the the wire that I have connected to my telephone box or my NID gets connected up on the top here. Just two wires, that's all it is. Uh, two strands of, that, of uh, this cable, which they call strands really, but we'll just call them wires. And I have them connected up on the top. Uh, then in the middle, what I have here is all of my telephone jacks that aren't going to DSL. Now, if you, if you hook it up this way, you won't need filters in your house anymore. Uh, you'll only uh, need this splitter and then lastly the bottom one here is, is hooked up to a jack inside the house that uh, that my DSL uh, is connected to my that's the jack that I, I plug into to get my DSL so it's just those four on here now it's important to get these right of course um, now, this Cat 3 wire has got what they, uh, it's got a white blue and then a blue white wire. There's actually a whole bunch more wires inside there, but I, I cut them off just in order to, to show uh, how simple this is. But these are the wires you'd use inside your house to connect up your, your telephone jacks and uh, as I've done here. Uh, the other wires are uh, irrelevant in this case. They won't connect up to the phone jacks because uh, this is a one telephone line system. I only have one telephone number. So these other wires don't count for anything. Now if I had a two telephone line system, there is a way to hook it all up, but since I don't, this is the way I've done it. And I guess most people don't have two phone lines, two telephone numbers, so uh, this is how I've done it. Uh, now, if you have old style wiring, uh, it's the old uh, green 
red, yellow, blue wire. Uh, probably you'd be better off if you have DSL to get that house rewired. It's a pain in the ass, but it'll probably speed things up for you quite a lot. Anyway, uh, this did speed things up for me, getting this splitter. It really helped me a lot. It doubled my DSL speed. I'm really pleased I did this project. And uh, I encourage other people to try this if they're having slow DSL, slower than they want. Now, I should also mention that the phone guy told me that the highest I could expect to get is 768 uh, kilobits per second. And I've got double that. I've got 1,300, higher than 1,300. So uh, just because the telephone guy tells you something doesn't mean it's true. And uh, just be aware of that because, uh, you know, this really speeded things up for me, and I'm really happy I did it. So I want to wish you luck with this if you try it.